this super tricky question from inverse trigonometric functions where we have to prove that sin inverse 12 by 13 plus cos inverse 4 by 5 plus tan inverse 63 by 16 is equal to pi was asked in CBSE 2019 class 12 math board examination. To solve these kind of questions, we always need to convert this sin inverse and cos inverse in terms of tan inverse. And the reason behind this is we can easily use the formula of tan inverse x plus tan inverse y. So let's assume a as sin inverse 12 by 13, which means sin a equals to 12 by 13. So if you consider a right angle triangle, so if this side is a, then sin is opposite upon hypotenuse. So opposite will be 12 and the hypotenuse would be 13. So using Pythagoras, we can find out the adjacent, so which will come out to us as 5. Hence I can say that tan A would be equal to opposite upon adjacent, which is 12 upon 5. So from here I can say that A will be equal to tan inverse 12 by 5. So sin inverse 12 by 13 is equal to tan inverse 12 by 5. And similarly, you can convert this cos inverse 4 by 5 in terms of tan inverse. So cos inverse 4 upon 5 would be equal to tan inverse 3 by 4. So we'll use similar method to convert cos inverse in terms of tan inverse, like the one which we used here. So hence I can write this LHS as tan inverse 12 by 5 plus tan inverse 3 by 4 plus tan inverse 63 by 16. So now I'll make a pair of these two and I'm going to use the formula of tan inverse A plus tan inverse B. So that's going to be tan inverse A plus B upon 1 minus AB plus tan inverse 63 by 16. So when you will simplify this, you're going to get tan inverse negative 63 by 16 plus tan inverse 63 by 16. Now again, I can use the formula of tan inverse A plus tan inverse B. So that's going to be tan inverse negative 63 by 16 plus 63 by 16 upon 1 minus negative 63 by 16 into 63 by 16, which I'll get it as tan inverse 0 and uh, tan inverse 0 is nothing but pi. So this is my RHS.